Hello everybody, welcome to another video from ModernWarfareSchool.com. You know me, I'm Matt, um, aka the voice of reason, as Charlie would say, my buddy. Um, well today I want to talk about not necessarily a subject um, as quick scoping or what kind of guns, but I just want to tell you something that I found out the other day. Um, I've been watching YouTube, I don't know if you know this about me, but whenever I play a game, whether it be Assassin's Creed or Modern Warfare 2 or uh, Gears of War 2 or any, any kind of game, I always love to watch games or gameplays on YouTube. Like, I remember when I played WoW a long time ago, I watched so many WoW videos of arenas and all that kind of stuff. And now I do the same thing with Modern Warfare 2. I watch so many sniping montages, I mean, countless gameplays by Hutch, um, and just every kind of game out there. And every single game I watch, somewhere in the commentary, they'll always be like, they'll always talk about something called a tactical button layout. And I never really first knew what that was. So I started playing the other day. Well, not the other day. This is just a while back. So I started playing, and I was like, all right, I'll check out this this tactical button setup, which I've never even played on before. So I play on it before, and what it does, if you don't know what it does, is it takes, if you play on the Xbox 360, which I play on. So if you're on the Xbox 360, this is what it does. It takes your right stick and your B button, and it switches what they do. So if you are on the default layout, B is your crouch and the right stick is your knife or your melee, all right? So if you use the tactical button layout, it switches those. So now your right stick is your crouch and you're going prone and then B is your knifing. So what that does is it allows all your bodily movements to be right on your sticks. So your left stick is to aim, move around and your, well, your right, left stick is to move around and your right stick is to aim. But now, if you see somebody, you can hit that right stick and go directly to the floor, which everyone calls a drop shot. And um, so, I mean, I watch, like I said, I watch countless videos and people are really good at that. It seems like it's a really viable way to play. So I was like, all right, I want to try this out. So I, I put on the, the tactical button layout and I was absolutely horrible at it. Absolutely horrible. I would go around a corner, I would see a person, automatically click the, the the supposedly melee button, which is now the crouch, and I would just duck. And then someone would come around and knife me. I'd be like, dang it. And I, I, it took me a while to get used to. But I mean, the other day I was playing and I dedicated an entire day. I, I got on about, I don't know, nine o'clock in the morning. And I was like, I'm gonna learn how to drop shot. By the end of the day, I was drop shotting like a beast. like. I don't think I can go back now. I, I'm literally, I went back to default the other day to try and run around a knife and it just felt so weird. I hated it. And now I have to say that I am stuck to the tactical button layout. So I just wanted to share that with you guys to let you know my new playing style, I guess you could say. But um, I wanted to ask you guys, like how many of you guys out there use the tactical button layout? Do you guys think, um, uh, drop shotting is a viable way to play, or do you just think it's cheap? I mean, I've he I've heard some people say that that drop shotting is cheating. I mean, it's just a stupid way to play. So, I mean, let's two questions right there. Um, one, um, do you guys use the tactical button layout? And two, uh, what do you think of drop shotting? Do you think it's cheap? Do you think it's a or do you think it's a viable way to play? Um, I think that's it for today. So. Um, Thanks for watching. I'm Matt from ModernWarfareSchool.com and stay tuned for some gameplays. Catch you guys later.